Welcome to a Marian moment as we pause daily to prepare ourselves to welcome Christ into our hearts during Lent. I am Father Dan Canberra of the Marians of the Immaculate Conception, stationed here at the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. During Advent, I would like you to join me daily at this website to reflect upon the Word of God, the wisdom of the saints, and to make with me a spiritual communion. For those of you who may not be familiar with the term spiritual communion, it is simply a prayerful invitation by which we invite Jesus into our hearts at a time when we are not able to receive him sacramentally in Holy Communion. Please join me daily and by this prayerful pause, prepare yourself to celebrate Christmas the first coming of our Savior Jesus Christ, born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, as we await his return again in glory. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 9, verses 6 through 8. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as you go, make this proclamation, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. The Gospel of the Lord. Sometimes we forget how much we have received in our lifetime not just Christmas gifts, not just birthday gifts, but the great gift of love from family and friends, the gift of wisdom, the gifts of patience, the call to holiness. Sometimes we forget all of those less tangible, but nevertheless very significant gifts. Sometimes we forget the greatest gift of all is friendship. Christ calls us to be friends with him. And just as he has given abundantly to us, he calls us to share abundantly with others. The measure with which you measure will be measured back to you. A constant phrase that we think about from time to time when we reflect upon our own lives. To those who have been given much, much will be expected. As Christ has given us his love, so we should be willing to share our love with others. Thanks to Maria von Trapp, yes, that Maria von Trapp, Gabriel Bosis became familiar to many people here in the United States. Gabrielle Bosis was a laywoman, a mystic, an actress, and the book that she wrote was translated into English called He and I. They are exchanges that she received from Jesus. And in her dialogue with Jesus, she talks about the value of spiritual communion made well. And she talked about the importance of making spiritual communions frequently, that Jesus might rest in our hearts and that reigning from our hearts, we would be more capable of sharing his love and his wisdom with others. She said, simply think about Jesus and how much he loves you and how much you should love him in return. Then ask our Blessed Mother to ask her Divine Son to come into your heart. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, when you returned after your resurrection to Peter, and as you were about to ascend to the right hand of your Father, you said to him, Peter, do you love me? And he said, yes, Lord. You said, 
feed my sheep. You asked him a second time, Peter, do you love me? And again, Peter said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And finally, a third time, and doing the knot of his denial, you asked him, Peter, do you love me? And he said, yes, Lord, you know everything. You know well that I love you. And he said to Peter, feed my sheep. Lord Jesus, you ask me, do I love you? And I tell you, Lord, yes, I love you. And you tell me to feed the sheep that you place in my life. You ask me, Lord, do you love me? And I say to you, yes, Lord, you know I love you. And you say to me, feed my lambs, feed my sheep. And a third time you speak to me in the depth of my heart, and you say, do you love me? And with all the energy and all the strength and all the conviction that I can muster, I say, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Help me, Lord, that I might love you even more. O most holy Virgin Mary, I give you my heart, broken, sometimes cold, and I ask you to exchange my heart for your heart. Give me your heart, O most holy Virgin Mary, that it might beat within my chest, that it might be filled with love for your son Jesus, that I might be compassionate as you were compassionate at the foot of his cross as he died for our sins. Help me, Mary, to have the merciful heart by which you gathered with the apostles in the upper room and prayed for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Help me to experience an outpouring of the Holy Spirit and help me to love your son worthily as you loved him. Help me to feed the sheep that Jesus places in my life. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus,